There's cold, and then there's bone cold. Hey friends, welcome back. Echo is a book you need to buy. So do yourself a favor, stop the video and just go out and get it. I give it five full stars. If you need to know any more details, just keep watching because I'm not going to be able to shut up about this book. Thomas Olda Huvelt is reinventing horror. He's taking things like witches and possession and rewriting them and creating totally new takes on things you thought you knew. Echo is a love story where possession meets obsession. Nick is a mountaineer. He goes up into the mountain and what he comes down with isn't just a bunch of life memories or just another six pack ab workout. He brings the mountain back down with him. The story is a split narrative from Nick and his boyfriend Sam and how they deal with the, the possession and the consequences and they try to solve it together. Can they do it? Um, the book is beautifully written and I gotta say, it's been years since I've been scared years I, I think there are a lot of books that are exciting chilling gross intriguing page turners but there are very few that i'm like oh my god that that passage creeped me the hell out and i'm, I'm like actually frightened this book brought that back i felt like i was 15 years like 15 years old and discovering stephen king all over again it's it's really that powerful like Hex, lore plays a big role in this book. So those ancient stories that are passed down from generation to generation um, hold some truths, hold some solutions, hold some validation of, of what the main characters are going through. And again, th these are the tales that chill us. They're archetypal evil tales. And I'm so excited because it's, it's not every day I discover a new author that I'm just transported by uh, Josh Mallerman, Joe Lansdale, Thomas Olda Huvelt. Totally, I, I, will, I will read everything Thomas Olda Huvelt writes. No lie. Every time it's translated in English, I will buy a copy. I will try to find a signed copy. I mean, I'm such a fan. He's amazing. Um, so if you like text, if you like classic Stephen King, and if you like beautiful prose, I think... Uh, the prose here is is some of the best. It's beautiful. And the mountaineering aspect of this book, it feels like a vacation. You, you, I don't ever want to be a mountain climber, but this was the best advertising <laughs> for mountain climbing I've read since um, Those Who Wish Me Dead. Um, I, I did love that because I, I love learning a, a bit. You feel like you're on the mountain. You feel that vertigo, that height but before i turn into a snowman i'm just wrap this up and say you got to get echo you you got to get echo i devoured this book and i was so sad when it was over it's the best bittersweet moment you know what that's like when you close a book and you wish and, and you wish you didn't have to say goodbye to that world um and I, I just can't wait for what's next from this author. And uh, so I, I just needed to, to get this out to make sure you knew this book is coming to the U.S., the English translation on February 8th, I believe. The U.K. edition comes out tomorrow. So if you if you want a good, terrifying scare during the winter month, I can't think of a better place and time to read the book than in a, in a blizzard, um, check it out. And you will never stop falling. And I mean it when I say it, and this book will help, but stay frosty.